Right. Um, <laughs> it's taken me a while to do this video because um, a lot of people know I live a busy life. Um, I'm an artist. I do my art and my painting from my studio on the road at home in the loft. So I have a crazy busy life. And to have a crazy busy life, you definitely got to be organized. So please, um, I'm revealing these things because a lot of people have been asking me, addictive sketcher, how do you do it? How do you manage your manic crazy life? So first thing I want to tell you, I move around in London with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let me just say it that way. But I have two bags. This is the first one, a rucksack. And this is the second one on uh, over there. And that one is, um, it's like a, a wheelie Dunlop one where you can put stuff in and wheel it. So that will be on my back and that will, I will wheel around. And these are the kind of stuff I move around. Now I live, I have so many um, different things I do in my art career because of what I did was to open up um, different aspects of my life in the art world that um, I can navigate from one thing to the other. And sometimes it gets busy and that's why you see a typical bag and what is in the bag. Um, um, I'm gonna take this slowly, um, but I just wanna, sh this is the first video uh, and I'm gonna show you, um, tell you what I use each thing to do so you can have an insight into what it's like to be an addictive sketcher. So this is a quick one, just before I go into the details which will come in um, subsequent videos, this one talks about what I have in my bag and how I use them and blah, blah, blah. So let's go. I always have an art magazine. This one shows one of my favorite artists, Susan Leon. This one is sketchbook. Um, you know I love sketches, so I always have an art magazine in the bag. Um, I teach kids Sunday school, so I'm always organized to the point where I wanna know what the kids are studying, what they need to learn, how I can inspire them. So I've got the teacher's manual and I also have the lesson book. Okay, quickly, I have permanent markers. I need these because um, when I'm doing illustrations, maybe I go to a school where I need to do a gig and they don't have enough supplies and they don't have a whiteboard, then I have my permanent markers. That's that. This is my main sketch one where I use on the tube. I just have everything in one bunch. This one will fit into my coat pocket. Okay, I have Winsor & Newton brush markers. Invaluable. I use these to sketch on canvas. Um, um, I'll show you a, 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 an example because when I'm working on my project, this is one I'm currently working on. I haven't finished it. But before it gets to that stage, I will work on things like this, which are which have brush marker sketches. So the sketch is always like this, and then I run it, and I take this around, you can imagine, crazy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do this quickly, okay? Now, I have another place where I keep brushes, crazy brushes, um, um, retouchable varnish. So say I haven't done a painting, worked on a painting for a while, I would use this to retouch it and start again. Um, labels, labels for my files because as I go along I, I, I gather receipts and things. So these ones will be for the one show, these are for February receipts, these are March receipts. Um, and this is anything I'm currently working on, maybe a folder of exhibitions to come and whatever. Don't forget the book, I'm always working on the book, thinking about how I can share content from the book and I'll be doing that with time to come. Um, I'm just swaying from things. I need cello tape. I've got to have cello tape, masking tape. You know it's the invaluable friend. Um, and tape like this for every little thing that might fall off or stick. Oh, rubber bands, my love. Oh, I love you. If without rubber bands, I don't think I could be an artist because everything has to be organized. Oh, gouache. Oh, I love you, gouache. Oh, I love gouache. Look, this is my little, you can see I'm an Apple fan, so they go into the iPhone thing, yeah, cool. And then I have these, well, these are like the Winsor & Newsham brush markers, but the, the, the thing is, these um, Zig um, ones, they're not that um, currently available, so I've replaced them with the Winsor & Newton brush markers, and how do I love them? Look at what I've done here, I've joined two, ah, two together, uh, and I use this to sketch, crazy. Anyone who has seen my demos or where I teach, they'll know I'm a big fan of that. Um, 
Ah, the electric eraser with so many refills. Woo, I love that. And graphite, oh my first love. Chunky graphite, thin graphite, and all the little things. Oh, I love that. Um, highlighters, I could not be organized without highlighters. Um, I'll be using that in my, um, my journal, um, and I always say to myself, this is what I got from Lisa Nichols. I have nothing to prove, nothing to hide, nothing to defend, nothing to protect, blah, 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 blah. I'll go into that. So I've got a, a journal, I'm always journaling, okay. Ha, ah, the Zorn palette, because I teach to, um, the most recent class I taught in the Art Academy was the Zorn palette, so I move around with paint. Yesterday I did a gig for the one show where I had to sketch people, I forgot my sketchbook, so they bought this one for me. So I'm always with sketchbooks and they bought some pencils for me, but you can see my own stuff is always tied up with rubber bands. Um, I went to the Coventry, Coventry Cathedral and it was great. I saw some great artwork there. That was the last one show film I did. Um, I picked some things like prayer journal from there. This is a little palette I got in a, a thrift shop. I like the little things like this and I'm always moving around with art DVDs. This is precious, like, oh. Okay, I'm not gonna open it because of time, okay? I don't want this to go past eight minutes. Um, and my boards that I use for my paintings. Uh, I thought, I think this is most exhaustive. I'm just how, so you can imagine me coming back and changing bags and changing things and just trying to move things around. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll try and explain how I use each thing in a better one later on. Have a nice time, have a nice day, keep sketching. Show them! <laughs>